Scientists are trying to figure out if there is any life on Titan, Saturn's biggest moon. Titan is super cold, even colder than Earth. But it's the only place in the solar system, other than Earth, where we know there are liquids like rivers and seas on the surface. Titan has a thick and busy atmosphere with lots of carbon compounds. There are liquids on its surface, including methane and ethane, and there might be liquid water under the icy shell. Some scientists think these liquids could be a kind of chemistry that could support life different from what we have on Earth. Welcome to the journey of exploring life on Titan. In 2010, during the Cassini-Huygens mission, scientists found strange things in Titan's air that could be from living things making methane, but it might also be from non-living chemical or weather processes. The mission couldn't directly search for tiny living things or give a complete list of complex chemicals. Scientists are interested in studying Titan because it might have the right conditions for prebiotic chemistry or even unusual forms of life. This is mainly because Titan's atmosphere has a variety of chemicals created by reactions with sunlight. The Cassini spacecraft found substances like nitrogen, methane, ethane, and more in Titan's upper atmosphere using a mass spectrometer. However, mass spectrometry only tells us the atomic mass of a compound, not its exact structure. So more research is needed to figure out the specific compounds detected. Some compounds have been identified, like nitrogen and methane, while others are still unknown. Titan's atmosphere might also have ammonia, amines, and various other complex chemicals in smaller amounts, as well as carbon dioxide and a bit of water vapor. Titan is much colder than Earth because it's far from the Sun. Its surface is around minus 179 degrees Celsius, or minus 290 degrees Fahrenheit, so any water there stays frozen instead of turning into liquid. Because it's super cold and lacks carbon dioxide, scientists like Jonathan Lunine don't think Titan is a good place for alien life. Instead, they see it as a kind of experiment to understand conditions before life appeared on Earth. Even though Titan's surface is usually too cold for liquid water, Lunine and others think that when meteors hit, they might create temporary impact oases with liquid water. This could last for hundreds of years, allowing for special chemistry to happen. Lunine is open to the idea of life in an environment of liquid methane and ethane on Titan, and he's curious about what finding even simple life there would mean for life in the whole universe. Back in the 1970s, scientists noticed that Titan, Saturn's moon, was giving off a lot of heat in the form of infrared emissions. They had a couple of ideas about why this was happening. One thought was that Titan's surface might be warmer than expected, like a greenhouse effect. Some guessed it could even be as warm as cooler parts of Earth. Another idea was that Titan's surface itself was super cold, but the upper atmosphere got heated up by absorbing ultraviolet light from things like ethane, ethylene, and acetylene. In September 1979, when the Pioneer 11 probe flew by Saturn and its moons, it sent back data showing that Titan's surface was extremely cold, way colder than what we're used to on Earth. This was surprising because it didn't match what scientists thought would be habitable conditions for a planet or moon. In the far-off future, Titan might get warmer. Around five to six billion years from now, when the sun turns into a red giant, Titan's surface temperatures could go up to about minus 70 degrees Celsius. At this point, stable oceans of a mix of water and ammonia could form on Titan. As the sun's ultraviolet light decreases, the haze in Titan's upper atmosphere will go away. This will reduce the cooling effect on Titan's surface, allowing the warming effect from atmospheric methane to become more important. These changes might make Titan a place where unique forms of life could exist, lasting for hundreds of millions of years. This time frame is similar to the time it took for simple life to develop on Earth, although the presence of ammonia on Titan could make the chemical processes happen more slowly. NASA astrobiologist Andrew Pohoril in 2009 said there might not be life on Titan because there's no liquid water on its surface. He thinks water is crucial for life, 
because it's the solvent used by the only life we know on Earth. Water's chemical properties are just right for organizing organic matter. Pohoril wonders if it's worth spending money on a mission to look for life on Titan's surface, since the chances seem low without liquid water. In labs, scientists have simulated conditions on Titan and think there's enough organic stuff there to kickstart a process similar to what might have started life on Earth. This idea assumes there's liquid water for longer periods, even though we don't see it right now. Some theories suggest that water from an impact could be saved under a frozen layer. There's also the idea of ammonia oceans deep below the surface, possibly 200 kilometers down, where life might survive. The transfer of heat between layers would be crucial for any life there. To find tiny life forms on Titan, we'd need to check the air for signs of life, like certain gases. In 2012, data from NASA's Cassini spacecraft made the case stronger that Titan probably has liquid water beneath its icy surface. Titan is the only moon in our solar system with a proper atmosphere, not just tiny gases. Titan's atmosphere is thick, full of chemicals, and has lots of organic compounds. Some wonder if this could be a place where the building blocks of life formed. There's hydrogen gas in the atmosphere that moves around, and some think that life forms similar to Earth's methanogens could use it with other organic stuff to get energy. In experiments like the Miller-Urey-1, scientists found that with an atmosphere similar to Titan's and some UV light, they could create complex molecules and substances called tholins. This happens when nitrogen and methane in the atmosphere break apart and form things like hydrogen cyanide and acetylene. In 2010, Sarah Hurst from the University of Arizona found the building blocks of DNA and RNA, nucleotide bases, and amino acids, which make up proteins when she applied energy to gases like those in Titan's atmosphere. This was the first time these were found in an experiment without liquid water. In 2013, NASA reported that complex organic chemicals could form on Titan in studies simulating its atmosphere. They also found polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons in Titan's upper atmosphere. Scientists think polyimine could be a key building block in Titan's conditions. Titan's atmosphere has a lot of hydrogen cyanide, which can turn into forms that capture light energy on its surface. But we're not sure yet what exactly happens to Titan's cyanide, because even though it's created a lot in the upper atmosphere, it's much less at the surface, suggesting there's some kind of reaction using it up. While life on Earth uses liquid water as a solvent, it's possible that life on Titan could use liquid hydrocarbons like methane or ethane instead. Water is a strong solvent but can break down large molecules. Life on Titan using hydrocarbons wouldn't have this risk. Titan has lakes of liquid methane or ethane on its surface, and some think these could support non-water-based life. There might be creatures in Titan's lakes and rivers that use methane and ethane, similar to how organisms on Earth use water. These creatures could take in hydrogen, react it with acetylene, and produce methane, unlike Earth organisms that use oxygen, glucose, and produce carbon dioxide. In 2005, scientists Chris McKay and Heather Smith predicted that if certain types of life on Titan are using hydrogen from the atmosphere, it would change the levels of gases in Titan's air. They expected to see less acetylene and lower concentrations of hydrogen. In 2010, Daryl Strobel from Johns Hopkins University found evidence supporting these predictions. He looked at measurements of hydrogen in the upper and lower atmosphere. Strobel discovered that there is much more hydrogen in the upper atmosphere than near the surface. This causes hydrogen to flow downwards. However, close to the surface, this downward flow of hydrogen seems to stop. Another study around the same time found very low levels of acetylene on Titan's surface. Chris McKay agreed with Daryl Strobel that the idea of life, like he suggested in 2005, could explain the changes in hydrogen and acetylene on Titan but he also said we should be careful because there could be other explanations. McKay mentioned that maybe there was a mistake in the measurements, or it could be due to some weather process, or perhaps a mineral that makes hydrogen and acetylene react. 
He pointed out that finding a catalyst that works at such a freezing temperature would be a big deal, even though it would be less surprising than discovering alien life. In June 2010, these findings got a lot of attention in the media, with some newspapers talking about hints of primitive aliens. In February 2015, scientists imagined a cell membrane that could work in liquid methane. They called it an azotosome, combining Greek words for nitrogen and body. Unlike Earth's membranes, it doesn't have phosphorus and oxygen, but has nitrogen. Surprisingly, it shares some properties like self-formation, flexibility, and stability. However, computer simulations suggest it might not form under Titan's weather conditions. In 2017, analysis of Cassini data confirmed there's a lot of acrylonitrile, the chemical base for these membranes, in Titan's atmosphere. Scientists, including Dirk Schulze Makuch, created a way to figure out how likely it is to find life on different planets and moons. They made a habitability index, considering things like the surface, atmosphere, and the availability of energy and chemicals. According to this index, as of late 2011, Titan has the highest chance of supporting life compared to any other known place, except Earth. The Cassini-Huygens mission didn't have tools to find signs of life or complex organic compounds, but it did show that Titan's environment is somewhat similar to what scientists imagine early Earth was like. Early Earth and Titan had similar atmospheres, except Titan lacked water vapor. Scientists are exploring ideas connecting chemical reactions to the evolution of life, using Titan as a case study. In a 2007 report, a group of scientists considered Titan a test case for understanding the relationship between chemical reactivity and life. They suggested that if life is connected to how certain molecules react, then there's a chance for life on Titan. David Grinspoon, who proposed the idea of organisms on Titan using hydrogen and acetylene, talks about the Gaia hypothesis. This idea suggests that a planet's environment and its living things evolve together. Grinspoon believes that planets with active geology and weather are more likely to also have life. Some suggest that if there's life on Titan, it might have come from Earth through a process called panspermia. The idea is that rocks carrying tiny life forms could have been thrown into space by big impacts on Earth, and some of them might have reached Titan. However, Jonathan Lunine argues that if there are living things in Titan's lakes, they would have to be very different from Earth life. According to Lunine, this would mean life started separately on Titan, suggesting that life could pop up on many other habitable worlds in the universe. A mission called Titan Mare Explorer might detect life by landing in a lake on Titan, according to astronomer Chris Impe from the University of Arizona. Another mission called Dragonfly is set to land on solid ground and move around a lot. Dragonfly, part of the New Frontiers program, aims to explore how far the early chemistry for life might have gone on Titan. It will carry tools to study the chemicals on Titan's surface and check the lower atmosphere for signs of life, like concentrations of hydrogen. If you found this video informative, do hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos.